Hi everyone, my name is Jeffrey and I'm a recent graduate from um, Carnegie Mellon's uh, Master's in the Computational Data Science program. And over the years, many of my juniors have asked me for advice on how to write a good statement of purpose. So in this video, uh, I'm just going to share some quick tips to, to first figure out what makes a good uh, statement of purpose in the first place. Right. So I think to figure out, to, to, to answer this question on what makes a good statement of purpose, I think it's useful to um, consider what questions the reviewers want to get answered as they are reviewing your SOP. Uh, in, my, in my head, in my mind, uh, I think there are three questions that a reviewer wants to know. So for question number one, they want to know if this student is able to thrive or succeed in their program. So over here, basically they want to know that, hey, you are, you are able to uh, finish the, the, the program, you won't like drop out halfway, right? So here it's important to demonstrate competency, but not just by uh, not just by simply showing off your achievements. Yeah, like one common common mis mis mistake that people do at the start is they just dump all the experiences in in the uh, SOP. That's not what we want because in other areas in, of your application, they they can already see these uh, experiences. So what you want to do is you want to accentuate things that. Uh, attributes of yourself that are not uh, found in these hard experiences, right? So what you what you could do is you you should um, structure your SOP based on a, a narrative, and use the experiences as examples to back up your to support your argument points. So for instance, let's say you want to argue that you are a self-directed learner. So what you could do is you could um, say that hey. Uh, Something like, hey, during the COVID lockdown, I uh, self-studied um, RL. I implemented papers on my own. And as a result, I was given the opportunity to uh, join as a research intern at this so-and-so company. Yeah. So over here, like star framework obviously applies and whatnot. So for question number two, um, they want to know what are your career goals? And how does this program help you achieve those career goals? For this question, basically what I want to know is, they want to know if you are a good fit. If like, you are a good fit for the program and if the this program is a good fit for you. Uh, in, this, in this section, uh, in this, for this question, you want to make sure that you have done your research on what a program entails. Uh, make sure that it's as specific as possible to what a program or the school is, bring, is, bring, uh, is providing. And yeah, just really showcase your research, try to be, try to be specific and whatnot. For the last question, uh, I think this is more of a back of their, on the back of their reviewer's mind. It's more, uh, it's, they want to know if uh, you have something to contribute to the cohort, to the, the diversity of background in the cohort. And if, just if you are a likable person in general. Yeah, I think over here, it's, it's because from their perspective, they can only have this X number of uh, students in every, every batch. They want it to be as diverse and they want that to be as di diverse. They want there to be a diversity of thought. They want everyone to be interesting. So I think what you should do here is to be as authentic as possible in your, in your SOP and not make it too formal, uh, not make it too generic. Uh, yeah, so just want to be stand out by being yourself, right? be honest, be even a little bit vulnerable. Uh, that will help to make you seem more personable. And also, if a professor is reading, they might want to work with you more. Yeah. So I hope this uh, all these questions help. Uh, it hopefully helps you figure out hey what makes a good SOP. And if you find it helpful, please help me press the like button. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you.